This is Let's Build a Zoo. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So what are we getting here? Well, this incredibly detailed pixel art. I mean, it is optimized for Series X, so I mean, we could be getting a 4K resolution, but like, you know, it's just sharp. The pixel art looks good, and it's supposed to be uh, 60 FPS because it's not apparently too demanding, but you can build mega zoos. Want build the zoo of your dream. And then it goes even more wild because you can like, you can literally like splice. So there's something like 500 different animals and then you can splice together over 300,000 animal combinations. It's uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. It really is like you could build some seriously neat stuff on this one if you've ever wanted to make a zoo. Yeah, I mean, that looks... That looks right. What? Where'd... I, I, I built this really cool thing, and no, I don't want it there. Alright, let's, let's try this again. Okay. It's actually, like, a pretty intuitive building-type tool, I gotta say. Okay, so there we go. Let's let's build this right here. Bam. So we got to visit Australia. And then we get some rabbits to open up the zoo. We don't even have any animals in there. The rabbits. Oh, the rabbits are coming. So control everything in your park, hire employees, build a zoo of your dreams. It's a management sim that's expansive. You can import and breed rare creatures and characters. Keep your staff health happy and build a really exciting experience. Do these bunnies need that big of a of a thing? Do they really need this big of an area? Can we create edit enclosure arrivals breeding? Ooh. Gotta make sure the bunnies have some food. What about enrichment? A small ball. Aw, oh, yeah! Oh, uh, no shelters for the bunnies? That's a little sad. Water deco. I don't have any of that stuff. Okay. So yeah, you kinda build the dream little thing that you've always wanted. Should we breed the animals? Yes. One pair plus one pair. All pens, this pen. Okay, I think it's kind of doing its thing. I will take on this research grant. Build a research building. Okay, so I think my park, or, well, you know, zoo, park, little, little lame because we literally just have, you know, we, we just have an area where there's bunnies, which isn't the most exciting for people. Hmm. I will hire you. See, but you see, you can build all the stuff like vendors. You can get a Costco hot dog stand. And you can build like shelters and different types of pathing and planters. And you can make a zoo map and a big fountain. If there's one thing I know, it's that the entrance to your zoo needs a really cool fountain. Otherwise, you're just not doing it right. Oh, benches and everything. They really go all out on this one, don't they? gray bricks. I mean, I'm more into, like, the red bricks, but, uh, you know, it's cool all the same. Oh, this is really neat that you can do this. Huh. This is really easy to kind of learn and, and work with here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, except there's, like, one awkward spot down there now. That simply won't do. I won't stand for that. We need to have uh, that great thing there. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to research items. Hmm. Slushy shop? I want to unlock the slushy shop. So you can even research new activities and things to do. 
it's not gonna let me do the build thing. Right on. Okay, now can I build my, uh... Okay, there we go. I want to get this Costco hot dog place going. I mean, look at that. It's like a giant lion thing. Right on. I feel like we should also have, like, a cola vendor place, right? Because, I mean, who wants to sit and watch cuddly animals when they could be instead enjoying the magic that is a cola vendor. Yeah, I'm just wondering where should we put it on the path? Hmm. And then we'll do the snack vendor. Perfect, because you know, you gotta make that money, right? It's the most effective way to build a park. And then you can adjust the prices and it could be like how much recipe there is and your amount of profit. Wow, this is actually kind of pretty intuitive and in depth. I am I am really, really excited about this. Can we speed up the fun? And then it got different like a camera mode and there's some advanced settings, but it's just for like accessibility stuff, so nothing too crazy. Do we have any more? Animals that we can get live journals heat maps ticket office and stuff alerts the world map Yo, we could rescue a pig I think that means Saving the game the game saves at the end of every calendar day. That's great. All right, let's let's slow this down because I need to build a place for these pigs. You know what I'm saying? The pigs need to need to be able to chill out. Yeah, this is this is perfect. All right, then we gotta go to the world map. We gotta get this pig. The pigs are coming! Oh yeah. This is incredible actually, a storeroom. Hmm, I feel like we're kind of just throwing everything at the back here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now can I build my path? Sorry, we gotta just, we gotta make it so that you can get to where these animals are, am I right? There we go. Is that connected? I see. Okay. I accept this ranking. I mean, I'm just getting started here, so this, this is cool with me. So can I get another... another rabbit? There we go. See, we're getting all these visitors in here. My zoo's really, really coming along. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> so you can also run your, your zoo like sketchy-like, but you can really build whatever kind of crazy zoo you want. And to me, that is just riveting and exciting. Look, they're so happy. Must be nice to be happy like that. Whoa. Water coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Hire a janitor from the ticket office. Okay. Park staff? Is it it's still searching? Okay, well, hopefully it can find some staff for us. You can change the appearance of your zoo at the beginning and increase your ticket prices. We only sold 11 tickets? That's really demoralizing. At least we're making money very slowly and steadily. I'm actually very happy with, uh, with what our zoo's going with here. I 
I thought we just had XP available. Okay, now we just unlock small balls. Desert enclosure. Whoa. But we can't get the slushy shop. We need, that's because we need five points. Oh, okay. Con candy. We can unlock con candy, but we can't unlock the slushy thing? This is ridiculous. A nursery. No, okay, so we can't get anything then. Right on. Okay, no, that was, that was not the area I wanted to hire janitor. Okay. I have no searching. No applicants? Really? I'm glad everybody loves the bunnies so much, because, like, honestly, all we have is the bunnies. We have we have nothing else of value. My zoo is, is nothing except for these hopping rabbits and these weird people that keep, like, meandering outside in the area. Okay, so we can do concrete. We can do a desert build. Let's build the desert. Like this? I don't, how much space does a desert need? I guess we can always expand the enclosures later if we need to. There we go. Can we get a... Something from the desert? Sydney Zoo. Mm-hmm. You can get ducks? I don't want to trade my rabbits. So my only offering is like getting these other zoo things. Okay, well we can get, you know, we can buy another rabbit. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind adding another rabbit here. We just don't have anything for our desert area. I feel like I'm already ahead of the, you know, jumping the gun on stuff, building wise. I'm, I'm just so eager to build my ultimate zoo. A gift stand? Hmm. I don't want to put another little mini enclosure there. I don't know where we should put a gift stand. Let's just get the uh, a water pump. Oh, that's always helpful. That should help with the water. Oh, a restroom. Yeah, that's that's probably pretty important. Actually, having a a restroom. Mm hmm. Okay, so now we need to get animals. All right, let's let's just do the pathing because once we once we design the pathing, you know, it's a lot easier to understand stuff. That is a weird place for a water pump over there. Okay, I'm assuming eventually my zoo gets bigger, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan for the future. Am I right? Lost puppy. Dress it like a lion and put it on display. Oh yeah, you know it. My choice matters. <sighs> we're getting a puppy that's gonna be on display. That's what we're getting. People love lion dogs. You know, put in a restroom. Probably need a little garbage bin right here, right? I keep clicking other things. I keep mistaking, uh, you know rotational stuff that's that's my big issue why is there oh that's the puppy we added okay now it's it's a lot it's literally a lion it's a puppy dressed as a lion that is hilarious is it friends with the bunnies I hope it's okay with that okay well we got a water basin I guess we can add a small ball no shelters yet what about a small tree? Oh, <gasps> we just had a baby bunny. What? Oh, this is delightful. I am actually so excited about the design that we have going here. I feel like that is too small for an enclosure, to be honest. I don't know what we're going to do with this area. We'll figure it out later. All I know is we've got a bunch of bunnies, and there's like a lion dog. Oh, we still haven't hired a janitor. Do we ever get any replies? Oh, we got one applicant. Okay. 
Welcome to the team. Yeah, close the application thing. Alright, so we hired a janitor. We are good to go. This is delightfully charming. Now we need more visitors. We need to expand our empire. Rabbits. Lots of rabbits. I literally want anything other than rabbits. Trade a rabbit for a goose. Where would the goose go? Can the goose live, uh, you know, that's good. Because I'm just like, can the goose live with this other stuff, or is there going to be, like, animal issues, you know, like, are these animals going to, like, fight each other and stuff? Because I want, like, a happy park. Okay, we're gonna have to make this area like I don't know kind of like little green space or something if that makes any sense why don't these animals have anything to drink uh, well the bunnies they have they have a water thing Is their water thing not cool enough? Or is that because there's not enough, uh... You know what the issue might be? Uh, they don't have any water pumps near... Well, there's a water pump right there. Hmm, yeah, the water pump is right in this area. Is it just not, like, reaching there, or what? Hmm... I think these animals are just complaining. What does the red shelter do? Stay in the shade? I don't think so. A dark pine. You know, we can put the zoo map, like... I don't know if that really works. A sign. Red banners. Classic, classic items to have. People love red banners. Okay, there's nothing else I could really build. Let's, uh, let's go see the research station, see what we can find here to expand our empire. Your new empire. Energy pack. Slushy shop. Is it enough to learn the power of the slushy? Crop seeds, a mini fountain. This is delightfully charming. Kinda wanna unlock the nursery. I'm very happy that we can now build a, a slushy shop though. That's to me this is where it's at. People are gonna be cooled right down by this thing. They're gonna be like, wow, that is one awesome, awesome slushy shop. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's the, uh, the slushy shop of dreams. That's what that is. The zoo is really coming together. Wasn't I supposed to get, like, a goose? Did I already get a goose? When they're playing with things, they got like two balls, and you know, there's some plant stuff. We just haven't unlocked any other enrichment things because I was too busy unlocking a, uh, you know, a slushy thing. Three hours, and we get the goose. Nobody's going to the slushy shop. Is it because it's away from where all the animals are? That makes a lot of sense to me. Wait a sec, should we... Well, no, we gotta just move the time around and then eventually we'll get the new animals. Right? This is really good. I like this quite a bit. This is a lot of fun.